Well, my name is Joe Mueller and my, my colleague here, Dr. Paul De Silva, and we are instructors at the, uh, the Life of, from the Life and Earth Science Department at College of Marin. And we've been working hard uh, for months uh, to develop a recommendation for the administration and board of trustees at College of Marin to renovate the College of Marin Bolinas Marine Lab. It has been out of use and derelict for 12 years now and uh, we think that we could find a lot of use for it for the students at College of Marin. There's all kinds of wonderful internships and, and uh, opportunity for a field station. Uh, there have been many that have been under the impression that there have been laws such as the Field Act that stopped the college from using bond money, as was proposed in both of the bonds, right, to, uh, to, to renovate the marine lab. Uh, we found with our team, the Bolinas Marine Lab Coalition, which has attorneys and has uh, a, a past scientists and community members and you name it, it's a group of about 25 people that are very interested in asking the college to, uh, to renovate and, uh, and, and develop a functioning marine field station. We think that's a very important thing. So we submitted a, 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 a um, recommendation to the administration on December 5th. That uh, many, and a big part of it is all of the various uh, uh, laws and uh, interpreting them in such a way that will allow the college to be able to use bond funds. Now I don't know about everybody else, but I voted for those bond funds <laughs> and to have that because the Bolinas Marine Lab was on that, right? And it was on both the, what years were those? The first one was measure... Measure C. Measure C. And then and, this uh, last one was measure B. In 99, yes. right? That was in 99 and then 2015. And the Bolinas Marine Lab was in both of those and so uh, uh, we think that there really isn't a good reason to not develop it. We think there are many good reasons to develop it, right? Yeah, I think on, the po on a po that positive note, we have a wonderful tradition here in Marin County. We just look at Mount Tamalpais over there, we look at the bay, we look at Bolinas Lagoon, we look at everything here in the county. This is a wonderful place for teaching environmental science. And the college has taken advantage of it ever since its founding in 1926. And now we need to move forward to serve the next generation. So that's what the bond issues were about, and we hope that they will be able to be used par in part to continue this wonderful tradition and renovate the marine why, lab. Why is the, coll the College of Marin Bolinas Marine Lab so important? There are many reasons. One is location, location, location. There's no other place in the world that has, uh, uh, that's surrounded by an internationally recognized uh, estuary, Bolinas Lagoon, which is a Ramsar site. There's only eight of those in the world, so it's very important ecologically. We've got Duxbury Reef, which has all this assess and rocky intertidal. We also have uh, the, the, the Point Reyes National Seashore, as well as Audubon Canyon Ranch right across. And that brings people from all over the world that study there. And that we can connect those people, those researchers, with our students. Uh, and that goes along with the legacy. That was one of the most important parts of the Marine Lab is that it has an important legacy that has studies that were done from former students back in the 80s and 70s and, 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 and 60s. And would you like to speak to equity? So uh, here we are at a community college and the community college system here in California is one of the largest uh, institutions of higher education in the world. We have students from all backgrounds rich, poor, different uh, uh, sociological backgrounds. And it's an equity issue to help those students have the same hands-on experience that students might get if they went to Stanford and were able to go to their marine lab. And then if we're really thinking about our world environmental situation, we need to have as many people as possible have first-hand experience of what's happening in our environment. And so many, many different ways, we're getting the biggest bang for our buck by investing in a community college field station.